fans are wondering even more now about the cancelled Deadliest Catch spin-off Bloodline after the recent wildfires in Hawaii. Deadliest Catch Bloodline featured Josh Harris and Casey McManus, co-captains of the Cornelia, Cornelia Marie, following the late Phil Harris's secret charts to Kona Coast, which promised the prized ahi tuna, mahi mahi and marlin. Additionally, they collaborated with local fisherman Jeff Silva, who started the Ula Ula Fish Company in 2012 in their search for the best fish in the area. Silva saw Bloodline as a way to show the world the challenges of small fishing businesses and to promote sea life conservation in Hawaii. I also wanted the world to know that this type of fishing is truly sustainable, Silva told West Hawaii Today in 2020. Kona's small boats do not kill thousands of pounds of juvenile tuna, nor do they catch millions of pieces of unwanted species, and we don't tangle or hook endangered species like whales and turtles. The sexual assault charges against Harris resulted in the cancellation of Deadliest Catch Bloodline in 2012, uh, 2022 after three seasons. Silva regained full ownership of Ula Ula when the show was cancelled, and he is still committed to growing his company today. Silva was a popular favourite on Bloodline before it was cancelled, especially after the show created a special on his family. Many fans even wanted the show to feature more of the local fishermen. A Redditor user said it best when they wrote, The show should focus more on him and less on Josh wanting to travel the world and have other people do most of the work. It should be mostly in Hawaii and about family and growing a business there. Jeff Silva and his circle don't need made-up storylines to be interesting and entertaining, he added. Silva and his family may not be the centre of attention on television anymore, but they are nonetheless intriguing. Silva frequently works with Kona Brewing Company, and prior to his debut on Deadliest Catch, the two of them worked together to provide meals to the neighbourhood. Since then, Kona and his company have worked together on a product line. Silva's pure intentions of being on the show did not make us surprised when we learned that he played his part in helping his state while it was burning. With the assistance of his fans, Sylvia Silva has been able to provide more than a thousand items to deserving families in the weeks following the tragic fires in Maui. He has also been outspoken in promoting fundraising initiatives. He posted on Instagram saying, Thank you to our big island Ohana for putting together a relief team to get supplies and donations to the people of Maui. Therefore, Silva seems fine and safe and contributes to those who aren't. We hope to see more of him someday. Perhaps he will be invited to work at the Bering Sea someday, or maybe even get a show of his own.